Greetings, my friends. Many people talk about Jesus. Many people talk about what they think they know about Jesus. How many people have actually met with Jesus and spoke with him and had him tell them something to clarify what the truth is in his word? Well, I have. I met Jesus. I asked him about salvation. I asked him about the hot button topic of eternal security versus conditional security of once saved, always saved versus repentance. He asked me if I knew anything about the prodigal son, about the parable of the sower, the parable of the talents, about the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. He asked me if I knew these things, asked me if I knew the Bible. He told me that he will never, ever, ever lose even one that God has given him. But he also said that sadly, and I'm sure it breaks his heart, that anyone who once knows him as Lord and Savior is free to walk away on their own and do their own thing, just like Adam and Eve did just like Ananias and Sapphira did, just like so many have done throughout history. It's a sad fact. It's a sad state. I asked him if repentance was necessary. He asked me if I ever read Revelation. He asked me if I ever, ever read about him denying those before the Father who denied him. Asked me if, if I knew about all of the scripture on repentance throughout the Bible. Asked me if I had read his word, what it shows, what it says, and what it means to me. I told Jesus my understanding is repentance is mandatory. It's not an option. It's necessary. It's vital. Jesus said that he did indeed come to earth as the final sacrifice to get away from animal, animal sacrifice so that we might be able to live forever. But he also said that repentance is not optional, it's mandatory, and it's key to whether or not we go to heaven in the rapture or end up left behind, potentially end up in hell. And that's it, right from Jesus. He confirmed all the scripture, all the hundreds of scripture that I've found, that I've seen, that I've shared with you in endless videos that show there is no eternal security. It's conditional. And I asked him about works. He said repentance is not works. He said that works cannot save us or keep us saved. But repentance, he said, is a mandate from his Father God, from him, and from the Holy Spirit. He said the Holy Spirit is here in our bodies, in true Christians' bodies, to convict us, to pierce our heart, and convict us, and nudge us back to repentance when we sin. That's why he's here. That's his purpose. He comforts, yes, and but he's here to guide us and direct us to repentance and to live a life for Jesus Christ, the way the Bible tells us to do. You can believe what you want to believe. I choose to believe God's word. I choose to believe what Jesus Christ himself said, what he told me. And you might think he says something else. That's between you and the Lord, Jesus Christ. You find yourself left behind or worse yet in hell when you stand before him at the great white throne judgment, Christian. Not the not the people seat judgment, the great white throne judgment. Don't try to say I never warned you because I've warned you over and 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 over again. All I can do is share the truth. The rest is between you and Jesus Christ and God the Father and the Holy Spirit themselves. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed another second of your life, not a day, hour, minute, or second. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. Let's get hot on doing it and look up true Christians. Our different North and I, we fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video. Get the word out. I've done my job. Now it's up to you. Bye.